how to replace fuel filter housing on Fiat Ducato Peugeot Boxer Citroen Relay. Uh, usually with a scuttle here and a bonnet you would probably need to take the front passenger side light out of the way so you can have good access to it. Now I took bonnet and scuttle off because I had to replace windscreen wiper linkages and some other bits there so whilst it's all off I'm going to use that opportunity to replace this housing filter housing which actually leaks it's a common issue with them so first of all disconnect this connector on top electrical connector orange one I'm lifting the tab I just slacking the tab off there you go orange connector so that's the little tab that lifts up and then slides out then you have two pipes with grey bezels you pull you push bezel away from the hose and pull the hose out so I'm gonna try to do that with one hand that's gonna be hard so let me try putting flat head screwdriver and just prise it a little bit there you go that one is out you get a little bit of fuel coming out and then the same thing with the top one let me try to get the camera on the top one there oh that's the top one so pull the great bezel to the filter and then pull the pipe out that's released so you got one pipe and another pipe underneath then you can literally lift the filter upwards and out of the way and that will unhook it from the rear hook that there that's the hook where it's been hooked on now filter is right and that's the bottom connection you can see it's all greasy now it's got a little wire clip you want to pull that clip outwards yeah the clip is gone and then unplug it and that's the old leaky fuel filter housing Right, I'll keep it with connection upwards so I don't spill the diesel. And then I'm going to replace it with, with a brand new housing that's already got filter fitted in. That's not faulty. Procedure will be opposite. That there, that's a seating area where it hooks on. To that hook plate there so first of all I need to grab that little metal pin that came from lower connector now when the filter is not there with clean tissue I'm gonna put in the connecting pipes very important to keep it clean this is the lower connector Remove excess diesel. Here's a clip for it. That goes in that way. I'm not gonna lock it in now. It's a bit hard to get it out, so once it's in, that will get pushed down. Got a little bit of petroleum jelly just put a little bit on sides of these connectors 
these pipes because they they go over the o-ring inside of the housing so now slide the filter in well, let me try to put some light to it is this light working or not yeah. Lower connector slides on then we slide little wire clip that's on secure move the holes out of the way I need to locate the rear plate on the bracket and slide it downwards. This is transport plug. So this is one of the hoses. It's pushed in all the way. Then we got the upper one, transport plug out, and the upper hose gets pushed in. And and we got our orange connector and that gets slid on to the top All right, let me just uh, it's up there until it clicks now, a little bit of fuel on that fuel came from the lines Whilst I was trying to fiddle the filter housing into the position. A good wipe off. Then you'll have to prime the filter. To prime the fuel filter with fuel to get rid of the air. Very simple. Get a key into ignition. Just turn it. Turn the ignition key until you hear the fuel pump running. There's a faint buzz. It stopped. And again. Probably hear that, I hope, because in between seats underneath this access cover, that's where the top of the fuel tank is and access for the fuel pump. And you can hear it, hear faint buzzing. So, I'll repeat the process three or four times. What it does, it's pushing the fuel through the lines and any excess of air is going back to the tank. A couple more times. And one more last time. Just waiting for pump to stop. When it starts priming, the noise is different than after second or third prime. You can definitely hear the difference. And now start the engine. <laughs> Filter. 
and inspect it for any fuel leaks. Always like to put tissue underneath. Let the engine run for a couple of minutes to show. Engine has been running for a while now and I'm satisfied there are no leaks around the filter. It all looks good. So thank you for watching and that's how to change fuel fil filter housing. Much quicker than changing just a filter. To be honest. Thank you for watching.